All right, this is going to be a couple of videos where we look at how to create a digital portfolio from some existing uh, work you've done in Photoshop. So first we're gonna look at, in this video, how to create sort of our theme, if you will, for our portfolio pages. And then in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to actually export uh, that, that theme and those portfolio images into a multi-page PDF that you can send off or can be viewed on any PDF reader. So in this example, we're gonna get started here with a new document, and we're just gonna use the preset here, which is the new print document, because it's already set up at eight and a half by 11 at 300 DPI, which is perfect for print. And uh, this is a letter, so it should be able to be printed on most inkjet printers. So I'm gonna select that document here and create a new one. And right off the bat here, I'm just gonna save this. So I'm gonna save this document, um, and we'll just save this into our folder here I've got a on my desktop here I've got a thing called portfolio images I'm gonna save this straight into here I'm gonna use a few of these sample images so I'm gonna call this Andrews portfolio and for right now we'll just leave that at that name and click Save all right the first thing I'm going to do here is just get rid of this background layer I'm gonna double click it and just hit OK so that converts to a regular layer if you've watched any of my Photoshop videos you know I hate background layers and uh, we're gonna go ahead and pull in our initial color scheme, set up our typography that we're gonna be using for our title page and the various reflection pages, and just a couple of those paragraph styles initially. So depending on what version you're using, um, you may or may not have the built-in uh, Creative Cloud capabilities where you can pull in your Creative Cloud color libraries that you've created, um, or you can just go ahead and set up some color swatches. But I'm gonna pull mine in for my Creative Cloud here. Now, if you go to the window menu and down to the extensions, dep again, depending on your version, you may see this Adobe Color Themes. This used to be called K-U-L-E-R Color, um, but they've renamed it just Adobe Color Themes and they've integrated it with the cloud. So you can create, for example, under my themes, I have a few here that I've been working with. And you can create your own color schemes or explore other themes that other individuals have been using. So rather than create my own and take that time, I'm just gonna click Explore here I'm just going to pick out a color theme that I want to use for my uh, portfolio pages. So we'll kind of cruise down here a little bit and see if there's any right on top here that may work okay. And I don't know, maybe we'll go with this sort of muted colors right here. So I'm going to go ahead and set a couple colors here. This little color, I'm not sure what that's called. Tamaday Color 2. Um, actually, that's probably this one right here. Um, this color theme right there. So I can go ahead and click save and I can save that into my themes if I want um, inside of here or I can just go ahead and pick out those. Now I saved it in there, there it is. I can go ahead and pick out those colors and add some swatch panels for those. However you wanna work really doesn't matter. But I'm just going to quickly set up a new layer here with a couple of those um, color themes that I can work with a little bit. So I'm gonna grab just a couple quick boxes and uh, just I'm just gonna quickly pull out five of these. Maybe not five, I'm actually not gonna use all those colors. I'll just pick out a couple quick colors here. And we'll come back into the to themes. And I'll set each of these colors here to each individual box. So I'm gonna click that one there. I just did the keyboard shortcut, which is option delete to fill that layer with my current active layer. And then I'll select this color over here. Move down to my other box option backspace then I'll move to my third box select this one option backspace and that actually looks like fine those three I'm gonna use those three so I'll delete that initial box and I can now close down that little color and this is the color scheme and I'm gonna use for my basic design here for my pages so I'm gonna get all these layers and group them command G on the keyboard double click here to rename this and I'll just rename this colors I like to have a layer dedicated in here that has my color scheme so I can easily toggle that on and off and it's part of my document. I can drag things over the top of these and quickly see. You can also set those up inside of your swatches or color panels as well, but however you like to work, it's up to you. Now I've got these color schemes available. Um, I'm gonna sort of build a base layout here for my, my uh, portfolio. Now before I do that, I'm gonna jump over here to my desktop and I'm gonna show you a sample from a former student. And so you can kind of get an idea of where we're headed. Uh, so I'm going to pull this up. This is already in PDF form, so I'll just hit spacebar here to preview this. And Lauren uh, 
waiters here created this. So this is her portfolio she turned in. You can see she's done some custom design here. She has a color scheme that matches the Photoshop logo. And of course, according to the assignment details, uh, she's followed all those and has all the different pages. And again, eventually this will be printed uh, for your 1280 class uh, in your printed portfolio as well. But this is the digital version of that printed portfolio. So anyway, you can kind of see she has the reflections, the different projects she's worked on and how those came together. So this is sort of going to be what we're going to create in this little two-part series. So now that I've got that, I'm going to fill my background layer with this base color. So what I'm doing now is I'm sort of creating a template, if you will, that every one of my pages is going to follow. And so I'm going to use this color as my background, and then I'm probably going to use this uh, peach color there, that sort of light tan, if you will, as my typography color for all my different layers there. So I'll set that up there. I'll create a new layer here and I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm just going to find in here a font that works for me. I mean, I'm actually, I'm not going to spend the time for looking at typography right now. I'll let you do that. I'm just going to leave it at the default Myriad Pro here, which I have selected and I'll just sort of write out, whoops, I have the wrong color selected. Let's go change that font color to that color. And uh, now I can see my typos. And I'm going to scale this guy up. So each page will typically have, you know, an image or a PSD that you've worked on and created and then your reflection. And so I'm just going to, you know, put some little lore mips in here, if you will, to, to do that. Now, I think this is a hair bit bold for me. I actually want a little bit thinner typography. And sure enough, I do have Myriad Pro bold. I'm going to switch that to Myriad Pro. Probably, I don't know, either regular or... One of those condensed versions, that's a little bit better. All right, so there's going to be a reflection. So I'm going to have, let's set this to 36 point. I'm going to have all my titles be at 36 point. And then I'll create a new layer here for a paragraph. And I'll go ahead and create a text box. And I'm going to click and drag this one like so. So I'm creating a fixed width text box. And I'm going to fill this guy with lorem ipsum, which I'm actually a not a fan of lorem ipsum, but in the sake of time here, I'm just going to paste in some lorem ipsum to fill that space there. And then I'm going to switch this maybe to a 14 point type. And we will, I don't know, maybe we want centered or left. Actually, maybe we'll do um, justified text or something. I don't know, you can play around with your font settings. Um, on my, I'm going to just set my quickly to justified text like uh, maybe left justify like so okay so I've got my heading size I've got my paragraph size I've got my color scheme set up and so in the uh, next video here I'm gonna keep these ones a little bit shorter we're gonna go ahead and set up a few graphics uh, and get our base template that we're gonna create all of our pages from